Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Maureen Nag. Which is your toughest month of the year? Which is your toughest month of the year? Drop a comment below. Many people will fall on January. January has been perceived to be the toughest month of the year. I think people tend to spend a lot during festive season, which comes in December the month before January. So when January comes, it is a bit tough, a bit strenuous when it comes to financial. I want to give you three main tips that will make your January to be good, better, be like any other month. These three tips are saving tips during festive season because it is here where people go wrong after festive season things become a bit tough and hard on you because of what you did okay so the first tip is impulse buying many people many people have done it for instance you have a shopping list of what you are going to buy be it in a mall be it in a cosmetic, in a boutique, or grocery. So, you have a shopping list of items you are going to buy. Then you go with the list, you buy the items. Luckily, you get all of them. After purchasing, you find other items. Mostly, during festive season, many things are on offers. Many things are eye-catching, they are appealing to your eyes. Hope to buy them because they are cheap. Maybe even you have the same things in the house, but because this one is of fair price, because it is on offer, you purchase it. So let's say you are doing a shopping for 20,000 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, you had intended to do a shopping like your shopping list, yeah, your shopping list was of 20,000 Kenyan shillings. You get all the items. After buying them, you start buying other things that you had not purposed for. Maybe that costs 10,000 Kenyan shillings. So by the end of the day, you will have bought like things of 30,000 Kenyan shillings. You had intended for a budget of 20,000 Kenyan shillings, but you have purchased things of 30,000 Kenyan shillings. So there is an additional 10,000 Kenyan shillings that you had not budgeted for, but you have just used it. It is good for you to stick on your budget to avoid unnecessary expenditure. Yeah, because by the end of the day, maybe this 10,000 Kenyan shillings, you could have used it to do something else. But because you have used it to do an extra shopping that you had not purposed to, maybe that money could be of more importance to something else. You will have to strain a little bit so that you buy another thing or yeah, you do another thing. That is impulse buying avoid impulse buying avoid unnecessary expenditures during festive season yeah stick to your list stick to your list then point number two there is unnecessary trips unnecessary trips <laughs> kenyans yeah kenyans they love hanging out you know okay many people love hanging out or so during festive seasons so you find that there is this group of people that have a trip of going somewhere when you're in kenya you want to hang out at the coast because there is a lot of water there a lot of beautiful things there so you want to hang out during festive season at the coast these people they plan and save for this cash but with you you just jump into the yeah you just jump into the trip you had not planned for you had not saved for it okay we have local tourists we have international tourists so maybe yeah it can be in the same country or outside the country even maybe these people they have been saving cash to go to south africa to go to rwanda to go to burundi like or uganda anywhere 
or maybe even US, yeah, they have been saving cash to go for this trip. Maybe it is a three month, no, it is a three week trip. So they have been saving maybe monthly, yeah, they have been saving monthly, be it 2K, 5K, or even 10K per month. So they have been saving for this cash. Every now and then they have been saving for this cash, for this trip. And you just wake up one day, you hear, you know what? These guys are going out. They are going for a trip in South Africa, in Rwanda, and you are like, I want to join them. So you join them, you had not planned for this trip, you had not saved for this trip, but you just joined them. And you know, for a trip, yeah, for a trip, maybe when it lasts for like a week or weeks, it calls for accommodation, transport, meals, plus in, plus some other things. It is slightly expensive yeah, when it comes to trip. That's why many people yeah, would want to save and not like to wake up one day. Yeah, If your pocket can allow you to wake up one day and go for a trip in Dubai, where and where, that is good for you. But there are many people, they have to save so that they can go for this vacation, for this trip. So when you just jump in a trip and you're not saved for, these people have been saving for this cash. You know, by the end of the day, you will have to inconvenience your financials. So avoid unnecessary trips. Our third point, it is avoid unnecessary visits. Avoid unnecessary visits. Yeah. So festive season has a lot of visits. It is good to visit upon invitation. When you are invited, you are good to go. But maybe there is an event somewhere, you just get crashed, go to an event you are not budgeted for. It is not good to be an invited guest in a, in an event because you are not invited. Okay. Maybe you know this person or you go through another friend. Then you get crashed. And it is an event whereby people will have to give out presents, to give out gifts. They have to give out cash. You need transport to take you to the place. Okay, actually, everything will revolve around cash. You will have to go an, an extra mile in your pocket, look for cash, look for a present, so that you can fit for that event. So... It is a good thing. Go to an event upon invitation. Because by the end of the day, you'll have financial constraints. Yeah. Because you had not intended to visit these people, but you have to chip in for the event. Things will be a bit strenuous. So when it comes to January, you know, festive season is in December. But in January, January is there. It is waiting for you. So... We want to make January to be a month like any other month, a month where people don't strain. So if you can exercise this financial discipline during festive season, these three tips will save you on January, whereby you'll have a smooth January for you. With this one, I'm just cutting across every person, every person. Okay, we have people who are of like yeah we have the we have the vip we have the middle class and we have those who are so to anybody financial discipline saving during festive season it will be beneficial when it comes to the month of january it will make your january to be better to be smooth to be a month like any other when people are like you know this january this january but you you're like somewhere and yeah things are just flowing things are just flowing okay remember to leave that comment which is your toughest month of the year that has been morning luck remember to subscribe if you're new here to my returning subscribers i'm very much grateful and um i want to wish you a merry christmas a Merry Christmas. Spend wisely because good days are coming. Bye-bye.